<laughs> Me and Ryan woke up around 12 p.m., 1 p.m. And now it is currently midnight and we're doing our grocery shopping. What's up, boys? What's up? What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. My nephew, Bobby James, right here. Damn, that was solid. I go like, fall yeah, bro. Fall. You're real. It's good, right? God bless. You God bless you too, bro. We just met him here. It's been like what, like three years? Yeah, we've been living at this store for three years now. We've been here for like three years, dude. Yeah. We're in the shitty aisle, you know. Soap. Soap aisle and shit. You, you gotta know. smell good. You yeah. gotta smell good for the girls, you know. That's what I'm saying. Take those tums. Take those little tums if you know. You got the heartburn. Heart yeah. This is uh, our sponsor. Yardly. Yardly, so. The English from lavender London. tree has the stinky asses. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We probably uh, go through three boxes a day. Yeah, right? we go about three, four boxes a day. But anyways, you know, you guys just gotta subscribe and That's what I'm saying. follow us. So we live in Winco. Yes, we live here. So if you guys want to see us, come down. We're mostly in the back, just chilling out, you know. But if you guys let us know where you're here, knock at the back door. Follow my boy. Yeah, and follow him and... Ricky Page, check out Ricky Page and check out Bobby Bugatti also on YouTube. Bobby Bugatti, you got one? And TikTok, yes. Here, go follow him, Bobby Bugatti. We're all on there. Follow us, subscribe, you know, try to make us rich and. Hey, we'll get there. So we can bless many other people. Bless other people. Amen, man. And then we're going to team up and maybe we could do like those little uh, giveaways. Giveaways and stuff. A lot of giveaways. You know? Giveaways, some kicks. We got to get some merch. Oh, yeah. We got to get some merch, so subscribe to us, guys. <laughs> Not going away. <laughs> what is this lotion? <laughs> Smell it. Well, you're not supposed to put like a whole handful on one arm, gang. You can do a handful. You see this? You see this? Wear your sunscreen. You just fart. Can you get my neck? You got gloves? I don't want lotion on my dick. Huh? <laughs> No sense. <laughs> Me and Ryan are making tacos. Should put some of the peace tea in it. My arms itch so bad, oh man. Oh my goodness. There better not be any skin flakes in our hamburger, Ricky. There's gonna be a whole lot of skin flakes in there. Oh my goodness, yes, Ryan. It's a good, good meat. Yes, yes, yes. Look at Ryan's tacos. Ew. Man, look at my tacos. Yours stupid. When I come back in a couple days, I'm gonna come over there and give you a tickle. Okay, you're gay. I don't know why. Good morning. It's 9 19 p.m. First and foremost, why are you filming the cheeks, Ryan? That's crazy. Nah, anyways, I'll let you get back to it. We could. Yeah? You gotta say something positive. Something positive. I'll give up on your dreams. W. What's your name? What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Ricky Page. Gee, I appreciate you guys. I can't. Sadly enough, they don't have a strawberry one. New drip. I got that new Gucci. Hell no, it is bluey. I despise anything bluey. I'm being so for real. I hate, bro. People are just like, oh, it's so good though. Bro, you have no taste in nothing. If you genuinely like bluey, you can probably eat your macaroni uncooked. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So if you genuinely like blue and you are over the age of 10, not alone, if you're over the age of 16, nah. No, I was doing it 16 playing Fortnite. Get off of bluey and start playing Fortnite, dude. Cause there's nothing good that comes out of bluey. Do you know the dogs are girls? They are. That's what I'm saying. My shorts are blue. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, I'll push the car, my bad. <laughs> Ooh, that was pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. 
I didn't get it, do it again. Huh? I didn't get it, do it again. Maybe it's so for real. Yeah. I just did an amazing. You gotta do it again, gang. Oh. Oh. If you say you didn't get that one either. <laughs> 466. 466. Uh, I hope so. Just to go that way. Yeah, I definitely clicked the right one. Can you shake your butt for me? Can you shake your butt for me? Can you shake your butt for me, Ryan? Can you shake your butt for me? What if I told you they have about 20 seconds to live? Can you shake your butt for me? God's been putting on my heart to start reading the Bible at the end of my videos. So today I'm reading Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 12. So trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over the new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father the son he delights in. So, pretty much what he's saying right there is really just literally trust in the Lord with all your heart, and not to lean on your own understanding. Because everyone on planet Earth is living a worldly life you know what I'm saying like we have free will we say what we want we do what we want we listen to what we want it's the it's free will so pretty much what it's saying right there is just give all your faith and trust in God and don't be leaning on what you think you should be doing just trust in God and it'll be taken care of and it says do not be wise in your own eyes and fear the Lord and shun evil so what your eyes are seeing you got to shun that away you gotta trust in God. You gotta you gotta have the fear of God to where you're not gonna go out and have these lustful thoughts. Yeah, everyone has lustful thoughts for sure, but you gotta you gotta shun that and you gotta fear the Lord. Cause you being afraid of the Lord, as it says right here, as you fear the Lord and shun evil. If you have a fear of God, you should be shunning that evil. You'll you'll more likely to be able to shun these lustful thoughts and sinful thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And then as it says, do, uh, this will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. So if you fear the Lord and if you're shunning these sinful thoughts and lustful thoughts and just whatever, um, it'll bring literal nourishment to your body and bones. It'll genuinely make you a better person. Yeah, you slip up. Everybody slips up. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect at all. In the next verses, it says, honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines the ones he loves as a father, the son he delights in. So pretty much I'm going to talk about the end of that right there for first. So obviously the father disciplines the ones that he loves. He disciplines us all. The people that you think, oh, uh, God doesn't discipline them at all. A lot of the time, they just don't talk about it. They they deal with their own they deal with their own problems behind closed curtains to where you're not able to see it. God disciplines us all. He really does. And you might think he disciplines you more or he might discipline this person less. He honestly disciplines us all the same. Yeah, some people might get it less, some people might get it more. But in the future or in the past, they had it more, they had it less. He disciplines us all equally. He really does, from my understanding. And the hardest, the harder works you go through is because our Father loves us. He disciplines the ones He loves. He really does. Going back to verses 9 through 10 is you got to thank God for what you have. Because as it says, honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruit of all your crops. And then your barns will be filled to an overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. So you got to thank Him, not alone for your faith but just everything you have in life. Because everything you have in life is truly a gift and a blessing from God. If As long as you're strong with your faith, you're chasing what you want to do, you're chasing what God has put you in your head and you're doing it with Him, 
you're you're trying to be a better person you're bettering yourself yeah you can improve in life obviously you will always mess up everyone always messes up but either you can choose to live a dark life to where your faith is like not very strong when you're not strong in faith you're going through a lot more challenges like depression anxiety and just Life isn't feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, I've been there, especially when my faith was not strong. My, I had really bad anxiety, but I got strong with my faith and those things started going away. Obviously, I'll get anxiety here or there, but it's not as bad as it what it used to be because of my faith with God. Yes, I still mess up every day. Everybody sins every single day. No person's better than the next. It's really true. But when you are strong with your faith and you're knowing when you're doing wrong and you're trying to prevent um, you from sinning and you're running from sin. So I mess up all the time, 100%. Everybody does every single day. and But I'm strong with my faith. Maybe not as strong as I want to be, but I'm getting there. Um, I pray every day, I read my Bible, but I still mess up every single day and I ask God for forgiveness. Everyone messes up every single day. I'm not better than the next person at all and then the person's not better than me we are all human and we all mess up no one's better than anybody we're all we're all sinners we're all really the same person at the end of the day because we all mess up but jesus christ forgives us for that because he died for our sins but when you're strong with your faith and it says in the bible to run from sin you run to god when you feel sin in the presence and when if you if you do that, obviously you sin every day, but if you try and you run to the Lord when you feel sin in the presence, it genuinely helps you because it it brings nourishment to your bones and health to your body, and it just makes you feel better. That's what I feel like. If you don't really have a good faith with God, He's going to... He's going to discipline you because your relationship with him isn't strong and he's disciplining you hoping you're going to re- you're going to run from that to him into his arms and your life really does get better. So, I know a lot of people probably skipped off this, but if you really did, comment across or the the praying hands in the comments for real cuz I really do want to see who genuinely stayed around to like listen to this cuz I'm trying something new. This is going to be something every vlog because God's been putting on my heart and I've been seeing Chandler from Mr. Beast be doing it on TikTok, and I really love that he's doing that. I just want to start doing that too. So if you really did make it this far, really, God loves you. Jesus loves you. God bless you guys, for real. And I know if I didn't make sense, let me know. Because I'm new to this, and I'm trying to explain from my understanding as well. You know what I'm saying? I really do appreciate you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe even. I'm trying to hit 500. 500 is the next goal. But again, if you really do want to start reading the Bible, I would start in the book of John. John is probably the best place to start reading. New videos soon, for real. These are going to be old videos, so they'll still be in the apartment. I think I have like one or two more videos still in the apartment. But then after that, the apartment's done. But had some good memories in there, and I appreciate the journey for the past year. Even though I didn't post as much, it was hard, but still hustled. But again, I got, I got strong with my faith. I've been following God's plan. And it's just been a blessing that I had to go through that year because I learned a lot. I matured in a sense, in a sense. I hope somebody took this in today. I really just hope and pray that somebody listened to this and it really did help them today. Because as even if I am not as good as it, as explaining it as other people, I really hope you did understand what I was trying to say. But again, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. As always, like, comment, share, sub. And I'll see y'all in the next video for real. God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys soon for real. Bye.